Hi Avila's family. Uh, what a rough day, but also a celebration today uh, for your dad and your husband and nieces and nephews, all you guys there. And I just want you to know, I'm sorry I can't be there. I'm out on a ship right now, but uh, I want to tell maybe a couple stories about your dad real quick and uh, let you know uh, how much he meant to me. He was actually a second father to me. Uh, I first met Art uh, Jr. when I was in college. We were in our early 20s, and uh, we used to come over to your house in Huntington Beach, and your dad would be there, and, and of course, Roxanne, you guys welcomed us uh, in like family, welcomed me in like family. You did welcome Art in like family, but I guess that's required. But uh, I had some great times with your dad. I remember when I uh, headlined at the Improv one time and uh, you guys came to the show. It was fantastic and I could hear your dad laugh in the audience uh, very distinctively. And that made me feel real good that you would take the time and effort uh, to come on out and see me perform. Um, I had some great times uh, with your dad privately too. There's a couple things I, I may even didn't know. He actually told me uh, which one of the children he liked the best, you know, in what order and all that. That was a little embarrassing. And and he, he asked me to keep it, you know, quiet. But I think now is probably the time to really actually, you know, reveal what he said, you know, and which children are the best uh, in his eyes. And uh, um, this is in a particular order. He's, I, I said, do you really want to name them? You know, one to five. And he's like, oh yeah, absolutely. He goes, I have my favorites. He goes, let's put the girls at the top. All three of them, all three of them. Beautiful. How can, how can a dad not love his daughters? I said, well, that, that makes sense to me. And then number two, he said, uh, Rob. And I go, oh, God bless Rob. Yeah, the violin player. And he goes, the violin. What a classy and wonderful instrument. And I know right now, him and Rob right now are just kicking back, enjoying some fun, fun times in heaven and, and just having having just some great loving times. Uh, uh, and then third, uh, or right after that, I guess it would be fifth, he had uh, Bono from U2. I said, Bono from U2? He's like, Chris, don't ask. It's complicated, um, but I can get you backstage passes if you ever need any tickets. I'm like, yeah, right on. So, so you know, you got that connection going there. Um, and then I said, okay, well, you know, let's, you know, who else? And he goes, well, Chris, I always considered you like a family member, like a son. I said, well, that's that's nice. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. And I said about that inheritance, don't push it, Chris. He said, don't push it. Um, and then uh, he mentioned something about the Sally Struthers animal pet adoption thing. Uh, he sent some money in and then, oh, oh, and then I think next on the list was Ed. He goes, I always love Ed. I always love Ed. He's like a son to me. And Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, he said, boy, I always loved her. She was really wonderful. A lot of fun. Uh, I said, are you forgetting someone? And, and he's like, oh, that stray cat. Remember we brought that stray cat in one time? That was like a family member to us. And I said, I said, oh, okay. And, then, and then what about Art? I said, and he goes, oh, Art. He plays the drums. He plays the drums. I, 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 does he have to be on the list? All right, I've ran this long enough, but Art, you know, <clears throat> what a what a son uh, to to you know do that with the, your sisters and all at the end there. And uh, uh, one of the reasons he he put you last on the list, Art, I'm sorry, is it had something to do with that that the kid just keeps putting pills in my butt. I'm not really sure what that was all about, but that he was real upset about that. But um. Anyway, your dad was a funny man. He was, he made me laugh so many times. I, I hope someone during the course of this celebration of his life is going to repeat his uh, lisping story uh, uh, with a hair lip, hair lip story. That's it, the one with the hair lip and uh, hanging out the window. That, that's a fantastic story. I, Art, I beg you to uh, repeat that story, the joke for your friends. A true story, sorry, true story. And uh, Mrs. Avilas, uh, my heart goes out to you. You were a second family to me and I just love you and I know I know that you're feeling some comfort too from uh, uh, just a long life of joy with your husband. And uh, thank you so much for making me feel so much for family too. And remember, this is a celebration. Your, your dad was a funny man. I, I mean, I remember so many times, uh, you know, that vein in his head would pop out at art and I'd be laughing my head off. Oh, but he was a wonderful man, a storied career, told us stories of everything from aliens at Area 51 to when he would take uh, jet planes. I don't know if they were 707s or 730s 
37s and he would bring them down on the deck and the frame cracking as they pulled up to, to you know do their drop their ordinances and stuff but uh, what a wonderful man I'm sorry I can't be there personally but I just want you to know I loved your dad and and Dolly also sends her love and regards um, you guys came to our wedding of course your dad was there and what a just great memories um, all the time I, I really just love being around him you tell some stories and god when he would get mad at art it was so much fun dolly and i would laugh hilariously but anyway uh love you guys i i hope that this day is truly a celebration and um you know what a wonderful wonderful life to have lived in a storied accomplished man and art and uh, the girls i want to uh, read you something that someone once sent me and i thought is very poignant uh, on a day like today. It's called an enduring estate. Not every father is able to leave his children a big estate made up of lands, mortgages, and bonds. But any father can bequeath to his children an estate worth indefinitely more, one for which they will rise up to call his name blessed. He can leave an honorable name, a good reputation, the memory of a godly life, and a record of fair dealing. He can teach his children to have a profound respect for a fact, a deep reverence for character, and a thirst for knowledge with a willingness to work. If any youth has all of this, they will not need any money that may be willed to them. If they do not have this, no money left to them do them much good. Your father left behind a legacy of character, hard work, honesty, and humor. And I always remember laughing with your dad, and I hope that's how you, in this day, laughing, telling jokes, telling stories, and just having great, great memories of a life well lived. Guys, I love you all, and I wish I could be there, but I miss your dad already too. So God bless you guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful day of celebration for Art of Elis. Bye.